Hello, hi student. Good evening. So today we are going to start new topics in EDC, electronic device and circuit. That is about equilibrium distribution of charge carry. Okay. Today topic is equilibrium distribution of charge carry. Okay. So now see, let us see here equilibrium distribution of charge carry. Today topic is equilibrium. Today's topic is equilibrium distribution equilibrium distribution of charge carrier charge carrier okay so this is the topic for today equilibrium distribution of charge carrier okay so now what is this equilibrium distribution of charge carry that charge it may be electron and electron and hole okay so distribution of electron and hole hole distribution of electron and hole okay so equilibrium distribution of electron and hole in conduction band and in valence band okay so first we will see what first first we will see first we will see distribution of distribution first we will see distribution of electron distribution of electron distribution of electron okay in conduction band in conduction band distribution of electron in conduction band with respect to with respect to what energy with respect to energy okay so we will see the distribution of electron in conduction band with respect to with respect to energy yes with respect to energy means how the how the electron is distributed in conduction band okay so that we will see and that is given by what that is given by the equation that is n of that is given by the equation n of e n of e is equal to what n of e is equal to the product of product of gc of e gc of e into into f of f of e f of f of e yes so this is what this is my distribution of electron this is what distribution of electron in the conduction band okay so it is under thermal equilibrium okay under equilibrium condition this is what the distribution of electron in conduction band so where this this is what distribution of electron yes this is what distribution this is distribution of electron in conduction band yes with respect to what with respect to energy with respect to energy okay so now and this what is gc of e gc of e is nothing but density what density density of state density of state density of state in conduction band density of state in conduction band or you can say density of what density or you can say density of density of quantum state what quantum density of quantum state density of quantum state density of quantum state in conduction band yes in conduction band or you can say the density of discrete energy state yes or you can say density of discrete energy state where exactly the electron is sitting yes this is actually the place for electron where exactly the electron is sitting so these are actually discrete energy state that is also for that we also call it as what the density of quantum state in the conduction band okay so now for this what is f of e what is the indication of f of e this is what fermi direct distribution function okay fermi direct distribution function this indicate what this indicate the probability what probability this indicate the probability that probability that probability that the given state given quantum what given quantum given quantum state given quantum state is is occupied given quantum state is 
occupied by electron yes given quantum state is occupied by electron this is what indication of this f of e it is a fermi direct distribution function so therefore product of these two term will give us what the will give us what distribution of electron with respect to energy in the conduction band okay so this is what this is what distribution of electron now now if we want if if we want to calculate what total number of charges carried in the conduction band that is electron okay per unit volume if we want to calculate the total number of electron per unit volume in the conduction band then what then what we do simply we will integrate this okay so this is what if we see total what total number of electron that is what total number of electron in the conduction band which is nothing but just integration of this n of e okay n of e into d e just integrate this we will get what total we will get total electron okay total number of electron per per unit volume okay total number of electron per unit volume can say per unit volume either cube centimeter either cube meter cube either meter centimeter means either centimeter cube or either meter cube okay if you want to calculate the total electron yes total distribution total electron per unit volume in the conduction band then what you do just integrate this okay integrate this equation okay let us say this is my equation number 1 yes this is what this is the way of what finding the number of electrons and finding the distribution of electron how the electron is distributed in the conduction band with respect to energy this is nothing but product of this product of this density of quantum state and fermi direct distribution function what the density of state function indicate that we have shown you and this also what fermi direct distribution function what in what this will indicate so this indicate the probability that the given quantum state given quantum state is occupied by electron occupied by electron okay so that's this is for the distribution of what distribution of electron distribution of electron okay Distribu equilibrium distribution of electron in the conduction band okay so now see for distribution of <coughs> distribution of hole okay similarly we will we will see for distribution of hole in the valence band hole in the valence band so let us see hole in the valence band so this is just distribution of hole distribution of hole distribution of hole in hole in valence band <laughs> distribution of hole in valence band okay sorry so distribution of hole in valence band valence band yes distribution of hole in valence band distribution of hole in valence band with respect to energy yes whatever we are calculating that is all with respect to energy yes so now distribution of distribution of hole in valence band now see similarly similar okay it is exactly similar to the electron in conduction band just the difference is that here is hole 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 concentration that is hole concentration p of e is equal to what p of e is equal to g v of e g v of e into f of g v of e into what there is a hole so it is 1 minus f of 1 minus f of f of e okay so this is my equation number 2 this is what distribution of hole distribution of hole in distribution of hole in valence band okay so p of e is what p of e indicate what distribution of hole in valence band okay with respect to what energy g v of e is what this is the these are the density of quantum state density of quantum state where in valence band or we can say these are the density of of state density of state or you can say these are the density of discrete energy discrete energy state okay where exactly the hole where exactly exactly the hole is hole is city okay so this is what 1 minus f of e what is the indication of 1 minus f of e it indicate what the probability that the given quantum state that is occupied by hole okay or you can find by hole okay so now see this is our equation number 2 
So now if you want, if we want to calculate what? If you want to calculate the total number of holes, okay? The total number of holes in the valence band, okay? What is the total number of holes in the valence band per unit volume? Then what, then what we will do? The total, see? Total, total number of, total number of holes. Total number of holes in, in valence band. Total number of holes in valence band. Total number of holes in valence band per unit. Per unit. Per unit volume. Per unit volume is nothing but just integrate this. This will give us total number of total number of holes. Okay. Total number of holes. So this is nothing but total number of holes. You can represent it as P0. Okay. So this is what integration of P of E. D. Okay. So which is nothing but integration of GV of gv of e into f of gv of e into 1 minus what 1 minus f of f of e f of f of e d okay so this is what this is the total number of hole in what where in valence band in valence band per unit volume per unit volume it may be per unit meter cube or you can say it is it has centimeter cube or you can say it as a centimeter cube okay so now these are what these are the distribution of charge scale. Okay, how exactly the charge scale is distributed within the semiconductor? Within the semiconductor that we have seen. Okay, that we have seen for electron as well as for code. Okay, as well as for code. Now, now as we know very well, but as we know very well that the thermal equilibrium concentration of charge scale. So in order, okay, so that's that's for coal, okay. So and for electron, we have done both of these, okay. So now we are going to see further. So let us see further. What is there? See, in order to calculate what? In order to determine the concentration, in order to determine the thermal equilibrium concentration of what electron and coal, okay. In order to determine the thermal equilibrium concentration of charge carrying, that is either electron or coal. So for that. We need to what we need to calculate. We need to determine what we need to determine the position of Fermi energy. Yes, we need to determine the position of Fermi energy. What Fermi energy? So therefore, therefore, what in order? What in order? In order, in order to, in order to determine, in order to determine, in order to determine the thermal. In order to determine the thermal equilibrium, equilibrium. In order to determine the thermal equilibrium concentration, concentration, concentration of concentration of charge carrier, concentration of charge carrier, concentration of charge carrier. We need to what we need. We need to calculate. We need to calculate first. We need to calculate first. First, the position. What the position of what? Position of Fermi energy level. Yes, position of Fermi energy. Position of Fermi energy. With respect to what? With respect to with respect to E C and E V. Yes, with respect to E C and E V. So that is what. So, if you want to calculate what, if you want to determine the thermal equilibrium concentration of charge carrier, that may be electrons and gold. For that, first of all, we need to calculate what we need to calculate the position of a Fermi energy level. Okay, Fermi energy level. Now, for that, for that, let us consider what. Let us consider. Let us consider the consider the intrinsic semiconductor material. Okay, for that we will. We will consider one intrinsic semiconductor material. Okay, so in intrinsic semiconductor material, as we know very well, <coughs> for that we will consider. Okay, so consider. We will consider, consider, consider a intrinsic, consider an intrinsic, intrinsic, consider an intrinsic semiconductor, semiconductor material. Consider an intrinsic semiconductor, okay? Intrinsic semiconductor, as we know very well, under at 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 t is equal to zero degree Kelvin. At t is equal to zero degree Kelvin, 
This is my conduction band. Yes, <coughs> conduction band. And this is my valence band. These are my valence band. Okay. So this is somewhere here. There is a what for the energy level. Okay. So in 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 what in intrinsic intrinsic semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor what happen here intrinsic semiconductor. What is intrinsic semiconductor? It's an ideal semiconductor. It is a pure semiconductor where no where there is no impurity of atom. Okay, so there is no impurity of atom, and also there is no there is no lattice defect in the crystal. Okay, in the crystal, it is a totally pure. For example, silicon crystal. Okay, for example, silicon semiconductor material. Okay, so now under zero degree temperature, what happen? Under zero degree temperature, as we know very well, as we know very well, under zero degree temperature whatever energy level is there whatever energy level that is existing above the above the fermi energy level okay so now whatever the fermi energy level okay whatever fermi energy level that no let us see here at under zero degree temperature under zero degree temperature whatever the energy state that exists above the fermi energy level Above the Fermi energy level, that are impurity of what electron, impurity of electron. Okay, so whatever the energy, whatever the energy state that exists below the Fermi energy level, whatever the energy state, whatever the energy state that exists under the under the Fermi energy, under the Fermi energy level. Okay, so that all these energy state are occupied by what electron, occupied by electron. The energy state that exists above this Fermi energy level, or you can say simply. The simply under zero degree temperature, under zero degree temperature, all the energy state, all the energy state in the valence band are valence band are occupied by electron, or you can say are full of electron, and all the energy state that is present in the conduction band are impurity of electron. Impurity of electron means no energy state is occupied by electron. Okay, so occupied by electron. That is the condition under what zero degree temperature. That is the condition under zero Kelvin temperature. Okay, so zero Kelvin temperature. <laughs> now, now from here, <laughs> what we see here when the temperature. Let us say when the temperature is not equal to zero Kelvin. Okay, so now this means what we are we are increasing the temperature above zero Kelvin. Above zero Kelvin. Now here what happens in this case when the temperature when the temperature increases above the zero Kelvin, then in valence band, then in valence band, the electron, electron gain the electron gain the thermal energy. Electron gain thermal energy, and therefore some, therefore what, therefore few electrons, therefore what here if we see, this is my conduction band, this is my conduction band, and this is my valence band. Okay, so this is my valence band. Okay, so somewhere here there is a Fermi energy level. Okay, so now. <coughs> Whatever the electron is there, okay. Whatever electron is there, electron is there under what under temperature greater than zero Kelvin. Under temperature greater than zero Kelvin. Now these electrons, what these sum of electron, okay. Sum of electron gain sufficient amount of energy. Sufficient amount of energy, okay. Sum of electron will gain sufficient amount of energy. Sufficient amount of energy, and this will, okay. So now. As the temperature, okay. So as the, as we increase the temperature above zero Kelvin, okay. As we increase the temperature above zero Kelvin, then what happens? Then what happens? Some of the electron, some of the electron, some of the electron gain sufficient amount of what energy? Sufficient amount of carbon energy, and they will jump, okay. They get, they will jump to the conduction band. They will jump to the conduction band, okay. So they will jump to the conduction band, and therefore, therefore there is what? Therefore there is a creation of what? There is a creation of impurity state, impurity state or hole, impurity state or hole as the electron, as the electron gain some sufficient amount of energy and get into the conduction band, and during this process there is what? There is a creation of impurity state, impurity state or hole in the valence band, in the valence band. Now from here what we can say that what we can say that. Both electron and hole, both electron and hole creation occur in a pair. Okay, both electron and hole, hole creation occur in a pair, occur in a pair by thermal energy, by thermal energy. Okay, so therefore in intrinsic semiconductor, therefore we can say that in intrinsic, in intrinsic, therefore we can say that in intrinsic, in intrinsic semiconductor, in intrinsic semiconductor, the number of the number of number of electron in Number of electron in conduction band is equal to the number of number of hole. Number of hole 
in number of holy valence length. Number of holy valence length. Okay, so now in intrinsic semiconductor, number of electron, number of electron in the conduction band is equal to number of holy valence band. Number of holy valence band. Okay, so this is this is all about this what in case of intrinsic semiconductor. Okay, intrinsic semiconductor when we increase the temperature. Okay. Okay, so now, now let us see, we are going to, we are going to show you a plot, what plot, okay, so now we are going to show a plot, plot for what, plot between, plot between density of quantum state, okay, the plot between density of quantum state, Fermi direct distribution function and Fermi energy, and Fermi energy, <coughs> okay, so now see here, plot. Now see here plot plot for plot for density of plot for density of density of state plot for density of state density of state plot for density of state for me direct distribution function for me direct direct distribution Fermi direct distribution function plot for density of state and Fermi direct distribution function Fermi energy Fermi energy with respect to with respect to energy okay with respect to energy now we are going to show you a plot okay plot for density density of state density of state function density of state function fermi direct distribution function and fermi energy with respect to energy okay so now see the what the plot okay the plot see here plot now let us see this is my plot okay so this is this is my plot and let us, let us say this is my top of the valence band. This is my top of the valence band. EV. Okay. And this is my bottom of the conduction band. This is my bottom of the conduction band. And this is this is energy. What? Energy. Okay. So now somewhere here at this we are seeing under what? Under 0 degree. Under 0 degree Kelvin. Okay. So this is what? Yeah. For me energy level. Okay. So this is what? This is for under 0 degree Kelvin under 0 degree Kelvin. Okay. So now if you see here, this is my density of, this is my density of, density, density of state in conduction band. Okay. <laughs> and this is my density of state in valence band. Density of state in valence band. Okay. <laughs> this is what GC, G, GC of E. This is my GC of E. And this is my GV of E. GV of E. Yes. <clears throat> Now, as we know very well, what as we know very well, GC of E is nothing but it is 4 pi, 4 pi into 2 m n star, 2 m n star to the power 3 by 2 by h q into into E minus E c, E minus E c. Similarly, here G V of E is nothing but it is 4 pi, 4 pi into 2 m p star, 2, 2 m p star to the power 3 by 2 divided by h q divided by h q into square root of E v minus E. Okay, this is what parabolic function. Parabolic function. Okay, so E minus E C means it. This is shifted. This is shifted above. Okay, so at E C level. Okay, at E C level. This. Okay, <coughs> this is shifted by this energy is shifted by E C E C amount. Okay, E C amount above, and this energy is shifted by E V amount below. Okay, so that is what that is the curve for this okay so this curve is nothing but what parabolic curve okay so parabolic curve so this and similarly for this so this is what this we are seeing under what under 0 degree Kelvin temperature under 0 degree Kelvin temperature now if you see this <laughs> similarly here similarly 
Somewhere here. Let us see. Somewhere. Let us see here. Here, if we see here, this, this is what, <coughs> this is the distribution of what, distribution of a electron in conduction band. Okay, so this is my conduction band. This is my conduction band, and this is my valence band. And this similarly this, this is what, this is what distribution of a hole, distribution of hole. So let us write it inside. E minus E B. Okay, E minus E B. So this is into. E B E minus E B E minus E B E B minus E okay this is E B minus C so now these are what these are the distribution okay how how the electron is distributed okay how the electron is distributed in conduction band this these are cool like right? these are cool these are cool distribution of hole in valence band. Distribution of hole in valence band. <coughs> These are electron. Distribution of electron in <coughs> conduction band. Conduction band. Okay. <coughs> this this will come when this will come under what under when temperature is not equal to zero Kelvin. Okay. Still here temperature is zero. Okay. So there is no electron at all in this conduction band. Okay. This will come when we increase, we will increase what temperature, okay? We will increase temperature. This is under, remember this, this is under temperature T not equal to 0 Kelvin, okay? So now, at, at 0 Kelvin, it is remaining same, like this, okay? Under 0 degree Kelvin, okay? Under 0 degree Kelvin. So these are something like this. And this. Now let us, we are going to see what, this is under 0 degree temperature, under 0 degree temperature, this, these spikes will not appear here, okay, these spikes will appear only under, under, when the temperature is not equal to 0, okay, so these spikes is not there for 0 degree temperature, okay, under 0 degree temperature, this is remaining, this, okay, so now, we will see when the temperature increase, when the temperature increase, then what happens? Okay, when the temperature increase, when we increase the temperature, see, when, when, when temperature, when temperature is greater than 0 Kelvin, 0 Kelvin, okay, so here we will take some assumption, okay, we will take some assumption for temperature T greater than 0 Kelvin, for T greater than 0 Kelvin, that assumption is what, that assumption is, let us take some assumption, this assumption is what, this assumption is the effective mass, effective mass of electron is equal to effective mass of hole. Okay. So we are taking this assumption for what? For the temperature when temperature is greater than 0 Kelvin. Okay. Why we are taking this assumption? Because this assumption will what will this assumption is able to able to make this make this what? Make this diagram symmetrical. Okay, symmetrical about Symmetrical about what Fermi energy level. Symmetrical about EC and EV. Okay. So this what this assumption is able to make this diagram. Make this diagram exactly symmetrical about this energy band gap. About this energy band gap. Or that purpose only we are taking this assumption. Okay. We are taking this assumption. When we will take this assumption, then then what? Then GC of E. Then the density of then the density of what? Then the density of state in the conduction band is exactly similar, is exactly similar, similar to the density of state in valence band, density of state in valence band, <coughs> okay. So under this assumption, under this assumption, GC of, GC of E, GC of E is equal to G, GC of E is equal to GV of E, okay, and, and Fermi direct distribution function, and Fermi direct distribution function, what, Fermi direct distribution function, Fermi direct distribution function for E greater than E F, E greater than E F is equal to, is equal to 1 minus F of, 1 minus F of what, F of E, F of E less than, E less than E F, okay, E less than E F, E less than E F, okay, so we will, we will get this, we will get, we will get all these conditions symmetrical, okay, symmetrical about what, about 
this energy band gap okay between ec and ev between ec and ev okay so and also this f of e f of e this this means what this means that this means that for e for e is equal to what f of e f of f of f of e f of f of e for f of f of e for for e for e is equal to for e is equal to e f for e is equal to f plus b b is exactly similar is exactly similar exactly similar to similar to what one minus f of f of e one minus f of f of e for for what for e for e is equal to e f for e is equal to e f minus d minus d okay so these all conditions are what these all are these all are symmetrical symmetrical about what symmetrical about this energy band gap okay ec and ev ec and ev so this is possible only when we are taking this assumption mn star is equal to mp star otherwise it is not symmetrical okay it is not symmetrical okay so now when this temperature is greater than 0 degree kelvin and we are taking the assumption assumption as mn star means it have the mass of electron sent who are uh, equal so then that time if you see this energy if you see this what fermi energy fermi energy now this will slightly tilt okay this will slightly tilt as the temperature increases okay so this will tilt like this okay so this will change fermi energy okay so which which is what which is symmetrical which is exactly which is exactly what half way half way which is exactly at half way between half way between the energy band gap okay between the half way half way in the energy band gap between ec and ev between ec and ev so this is something like this this so this this is my fermi energy level okay so this is my what fermi energy level let us see this fermi energy level this is my fermi energy level this yes this is what this is my fermi energy level which is exactly half way which is exactly half way between ec and ev between ec and ev this is only possible okay so this is for what temperature greater than 0 kelvin 0 kelvin only 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 with mn if mn star is equal to mp star means effective mass of both effective mass of both electrons and pole are same then only it is exactly symmetrical it, it is exactly symmetrical half way between ec and ev okay between ec and ev if this effective mass are not equal then it will slightly shift from this mid gap okay from this from this symmetry okay so this fermi energy level will get shift from this will shift from this what from this mid from this mid gap if this effective mass is not equal okay this, this is under only under the condition of it if effective mass is equal okay so this all symmetry is possible under this condition only okay under this condition now now and here here now this spikes now this spikes will appear okay this spikes will appear only under temperature greater than 0 kelvin okay greater than 0 kelvin and if, if you see here if you see here what it is what it indicate see here this is nothing but distribution of what distribution of electron where in conduction band which is nothing but as we have seen in the equation one that is what gc of e gc of e that is nothing but gc of e into f of into f of e f of e okay so f of e now and similarly similarly here what distribution of what pole distribution of pole distribution of pole is how much distribution of pole is nothing but gb of e gb of e into what into 1 minus 1 minus f of f of e 1 minus f of f of e okay so this is what this is the distribution of pole in what where in valence band in valence band and and here it is what this is what the distribution of electron in where in conduction band this is possible under what under under non zero degree temperature means when we increase the temperature above 0 degree kelvin okay so then we will then this spikes will appear this spikes will appear okay so now if we want to find what if we want to find total what total number of what total number of electron concentration if we want to find total number of electron in the conduction band that is nothing but n naught what n naught yes this is nothing but n naught this area n naught 
total number total number of electron in conduction band in conduction band means total number of what concentration of electron in conduction band that is nothing but integration integration of this what integration of this distribution of electron which is nothing but integration of this n of e n of e into d n of e into d okay just you integrate this you will get what you will get total number of what? total number of electron per unit volume per unit volume okay per unit volume this indicate what area this indicate what area this total area is what this total area is nothing but number of electron in the conduction band okay which is which is coming by integrating this equation okay we will get this okay integrating this equation now similarly here similarly here what this area what this area indicate total this total area is indicating what total number of hole total number of hole which is which is determined by integration integration of this p of e p of e d okay over entire volume okay over entire valence band energy okay we are integrating this distribution of electron under what entire entire energy entire valence uh, entire valence band energy entire valence band energy we will get what when we integrate when we integrate the distribution of hole distribution of hole over the entire valence band energy then we will get what we will get the total number of hole per unit volume similarly when we integrate when we integrate the distribution of electron distribution of electron over the entire over the entire entire conduction band energy then we will get the total number of what total number of electron per unit volume in the conduction band in the conduction band okay so this is what this is the way to determine what this is the way to determine the thermal equilibrium no this is the way to determine the electrons and hole concentration hole concentration okay first of all what we need to for that what we need to calculate first we need to determine first the position of fermi energy level okay fermi energy level so now this is what this is what actual procedure to determine the concentration of what concentration of charge carrier within the semiconductor okay within the semiconductor within the semiconductor device okay so now if we see here if the temperature if, if the effective mass is not equal then what happen so now see we will see the extension of this okay we will see the extension of this graph okay this plot so let us see here here we are going to show you the extension of this means let us see here expanded view okay we are going to show you the expanded view of this okay this graph okay for both valence band and conduction band valence band and conduction band let us see here this this so this is what my this is what my energy this is my ec okay this is what ec ec bottom of the conduction band now bottom of the conduction band and this is what my this is my what this is my density of quantum state or density of state function okay density of state function density of quantum state or you can say density of discrete energy state where exactly the electron is sitting okay so now which is nothing but gc of <coughs> gc of e okay so now see here this is under what this is under temperature greater than 0 kelvin and this is my fermi energy level yes fermi energy somewhere like this like this this is my fermi energy yes this is my fermi, fermi energy now if we see here this is my fermi energy this is my fermi energy now if we see here this is what this field this is nothing but what gv of gc of e this is nothing but gc of e yes and this this area this area is what this area is gc of e means density of quantum state density of quantum state and this is nothing but what f of f of e yes this is what this is the fermi direct distribution function the probability because now see here now see what are what are these here what is this what is this area this area indication of this area is nothing but whatever the whatever the whatever the energy state okay energy state existing in this in this area in this area are now are now filled with electron are now full of electron are now filled with electron okay so therefore this f of e is indicating but indicating the probability that the available energy state are occupied by electron occupied by electron see here these are empty state okay these all the state are empty this side state are empty this side, this side state are empty these are empty okay these all the state are empty these all the state are empty 
these all state are EPT and these these state are maximum energy state are okay so here some of the energy state are what if you see in this area in this area now here some some of some of the some of the energy some of the energy energy state some of the energy state it some of the energy state are are occupied some of the energy state are occupied occupied by electron okay occupied by electron some of the energy state are occupied by electron okay so this area is indicating what because these are what energy state discrete energy state okay these are energy state now these energy state are not totally EPT because some of the energy state is now occupied by electron occupied by electron and this and this f of e is indicating what this is Fermi direct distribution function which is indicating what which is indicating that that the given quantum state is now occupied by electron okay this is this is what this is indicating the probability that the given quantum state is occupied by electron occupied by electron okay so this is the meaning of this this is the expanded expanded view of this or we can say extension of this view okay this is the extension view of for this graph okay for this graph or you can say it's an expanded view of expanded view for this for this graph okay or Conduction man or conduction man. Okay, here because we have seen these are these are EPT state. These all this side all the state are EPT. Okay, so, so we don't worry about this. Okay, so just we are taking into account only those state which are coming below, which are coming what, which are coming below the Fermi energy level. Because now some of the energy, some of the energy state are now occupied by electron, occupied by electron. Okay, so by this we will find what. Therefore, the product of product of GC of E and F of E, we are able to calculate what we are able to calculate the concentration of electron and hole. Okay. So similarly, here for valence band, if we check for valence band, if we see for valence band, see here, this is what this is my energy. Okay, and this is my top of the valence band. Okay, so this is my top of the valence band. Now, now let us see here. This is my what? This is what? This is density of density of state, density of state function, or density of quantum state, or density of discrete energy state. Where exactly the where exactly the electron is sitting? Okay, where exactly the electron is sitting? So this is what G C of P. E. Now see here. Now this. Now see here. This this is what this is my Fermi energy level, and it is going like this. Okay, going like this. Now this. So what is the indication of this Fermi energy level? What is the indication of this Fermi energy level here? <coughs> if you see, if you observe properly, if you observe properly, now this Fermi energy level here in case of valence band, in case of valence band, see whatever <coughs> whatever portion is coming, portion is coming below, below what below this Fermi energy level, below this Fermi energy level, these all here whatever energy state is there, all are occupied by what electron, all are occupied by electron, and whatever energy state is here, okay. Whatever energy state is existing here, these are impedity of electron. These are now impedity of electron. Okay. These not all, not all are impedity of electron, but some of the energy state, some of the energy state are occupied by some of the energy state are impedity. Okay. Some of the energy state are impedity, and some of the energy state are occupied by electron. Okay. So, but below this, but below this, all the energy state are occupied by electron. All the energy state are Full of electron, all the energy state are full of electron. Similarly, here all the energy state are what above this Fermi energy level, all the energy state are what full of hole, full of hole, or you can say all the energy state are impedity of electron, impedity of electron. Here below this, all the energy state are full of electron, and here. <coughs> And here, some of the energy state, some of the energy state are empty. Some of the energy state are occupied by electron. Similarly, here, some of the energy state are empty, and some of the electron, some of the energy state are occupied by electron, occupied by electron. So therefore, if you see this, this is what G V of G V of E. Okay. So this is my G V of E, and this is what this is nothing but this is nothing but F of this is nothing but one minus what one minus F of E, one minus F of F of E. Okay, so let us write here. This is nothing but this is nothing but one minus f of f of e. Okay, one minus f of f of e. Okay, so this this in, indication of this. Okay, so this is indicating what this. Okay, this this is indicating what this is indicating what this is indicating this is indicating that the available. This indicates the probability that probability that the given quantum state is impedity of electron. 
given quantum state is infinity of electron. Similarly, here it indicates the probability that the given quantum state is occupied by electron. Just opposite. Just opposite. Okay. So this is under temperature greater than zero Kelvin, and this is the expected view of this, or you can see this is the extension of this. Okay. So this is extension. This is extension of this graph. Okay. So now, now we have calculated all those. Okay. All those what state of function or Fermi direct distribution function, which is required, which is required in order to calculate the concentration of electron and pole. Okay, so electron and pole. So this is all about the density, all about the plot for the density of state function and Fermi direct distribution function, and also we have. We have taken the assumption. This everything we are calculating <coughs> under the assumption of what? Under the assumption of <coughs> assumption of that both electrons and holes have if hole have equal effective mass. Okay, equal effective mass. If we if these if the effective mass of electron and hole are not equal, then what happens? Then this Fermi energy level will slightly slightly shift shift from this from this what from this metric. From the symmetrical mid gap between E C and E B, okay, so it will slightly shift, okay, so either below or above, depending on what this temperature, okay, if effective mass is not equal, okay, so this is the way of what this is exact way of exact way of to determine the charge to determine the charge carrier concentration or to visualize properly how properly how the how the charge carrier are distributing within the semiconductor okay either in conduction band in the valence band either in conduction band in conduction band how the electron is distributed and in valence band how the hole is distributed okay with respect to what energy with respect to energy because everything is everything is going on with respect to what energy with respect to energy okay so that's all for this topic so this topic is about what uh, about what the thermal equilibrium concentration of electron and hole okay first we have seen for what first we have seen under the thermal equilibrium con thermal equilibrium concentration okay so that is under zero degree temperature then after that we what we have increased the temperature above zero degree Kelvin. As we increase the temperature above zero degree Kelvin, then whatever this Fermi energy level will get, what tilt will get tilt, and under the condition uh, will get tilt symmetrically, symmetrically about this E C and E B energy band here. Okay, under the condition of what? Under the condition that if we take what effective mass of both electron and pole are pole are equal. Okay, so and all those parameters will get distributed. All those parameters what we are Calculating, calculating here, all are symmetric, all are symmetrical with respect to what this energy band gap, EC and EV, EC and EV, okay, so that's all for this topic, okay.